Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I'm the black powder editor for Guns of the Old West magazine. And today we're going to be shooting the Smoke Wagon. This is from Taylor's and Company in Winchester, Virginia. It's built by Uberti and Taylor's imports it exclusively. This is my Smoke Wagon revolver from Taylor's and Company. Uh, the idea behind the smoke wagon is that it's a gun that comes fully tuned for competition right out of the box. Uh, unlike a lot of single actions that uh, require a gunsmith to slick them up to make them reach their full potential, when you buy this gun, it's fully tuned. You don't have to do anything to it. And uh, that's absolutely true. It's one of the smoothest single actions I've ever used. The, the one thing I have to say about it, though, is I thought that the outside which was attractive, did not match the inside, which was phenomenal. And I thought this gun could be truly phenomenal. So I'm going to show you what this looked like as it came from Taylor's uh, when I first started shooting it. This is how the smoke wagon looked when it came from Taylor's. And it was a beautiful gun but the inside was even more beautiful than the outside. It's uh, fully tuned by Taylor's gunsmiths and it has a reduced power mainspring and a wire bolt and trigger spring for longer life. All of the parts, all of the pins, all the contact surfaces are polished uh, to make them just as slick as glass and make it a very smooth operating single action revolver. One thing I like about the smoke wagon is that it has second generation Colt type sights which means it has a wide square rear sight uh, notch and a fairly wide uh, blade front sight, as opposed to most of the replicas you'll see that have a pinched rear sight, very small shallow V, and uh, a very narrow front sight. When your eyes are getting a little bit older, this is great uh, to be able to see what you're shooting at. And as you can see from the targets, the smoke wagon does shoot. Uh, the target that you're going to see first is shot with black powder and very accurately and the uh, second target was shot with Black Hills factory ammunition and you really couldn't ask for better. Cosmetically the smoke wagon has a set of nice thin checkered walnut grips uh, that do the job quite well though they're not exactly to my taste. The metal finishes were where I thought the smoke wagon really could be better. As you can see it's got what I would call a typical Italian Uberti color case hardening job. Uh, which means the colors are very sparse. This is mostly a gray gun. And if you look at the Colt single action revolver that you can see here, you can see those colors are much, much, much better. Uh, so I was not really happy with these colors. I decided to do something about it. And that's how we got to where we are now. Now, obviously, I've made some changes. Uh, and some of them are a little more subtle than, uh, than others. The grips are... Elephant Ivory, and they're done by Jim Alimo at Nutmeg Sports. Uh, they're monogrammed with my initials, Mike Bellevue. And I think they really set this piece off. Uh, perhaps a little more subtle, I don't know how well it'll show up in the, in the video, but Doug Turnbull, who is just a phenomenal uh, gunsmith and, and uh, metal finisher, did the color case hardening and the Carbona bluing finish, uh, which is just gorgeous. So this gun looks as good as a Colt would have looked coming out of the factory in 1873. Uh, and I think uh, it, it looks as good as it shoots now. It's just an absolutely beautiful gun. So when everything was said and done, we went from this to this. All right, the smoke wagon is a conventional Colt style single action revolver. It has to be placed on half cock uh, to load for the cylinder to, to spin freely. And we're going to load it with our normal load one, skip one, load four procedure. Okay, now you'll see, if I can get that lined up, that we've got 
an empty chamber under the hammer, which makes it safe to go. Some days the equipment just won't cooperate. At least I know what these bottles are going to do when they're hit. And we'll finish up with the bad guys here with the smoke wagon.